Who is she? <laughs> it was really emotional. I'm getting emotional right now. I like this book, but I was expecting for this one to become a new favorite of mine, and it didn't. <laughs> to another reading vlog. In today's reading vlog, I want to challenge myself. All of my Dutch booktube friends have been doing it. If you follow them as well, you've seen all of these like reading 100 pages a day challenges going around and I feel like it's my time to do the challenge as well. So big shout out to especially Brit from Basically Brit from giving me the inspiration to do this. I know that Leonie and Leora also did this on their channels and the videos are just so nice. As I think the majority of you guys know, I am a super slow reader and I find it difficult to really belong to that group in booktube who read like 10 plus books each month and sometimes that makes me feel guilty it doesn't really matter because anything that you read is great even if it's just a hundred pages per week like that's awesome as well but because now I still have like my gap year going on and I have pretty much all the time in the world I really want to spend my time reading lots of books and I feel like a challenge like this reading 150 pages a day might help me with doing just that so let me put you up on my little book cart right here Okay, so I think usually I read about like 50 pages a day if I'm having a really good day I read 100 pages like that always makes me feel super accomplished But because this week I will be finishing a couple of my current reads But I also really really want to read one specific like graphic novel in particular I feel like bumping up this goal to 150 pages a day is a bit better because graphic novels are really easy to read so I can like very quickly read 200 pages in like one sitting. So if I'm upping the challenge to 150 pages a day, I think we're gonna be good. The book that I'm currently reading and about to finish is The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett and this is gonna be one of my favorite books of 2021. Like, I feel it. It's so good. It's so good. But in The Vanishing Half, we follow the lives of two sisters. I believe you would call her name Desiree in English. I find it very difficult to pronounce because in Dutch we would say Desiree. So I'm like, Desiree. So we follow Desiree and Stella Vignes, but the two twin sisters have grown up in a small southern black community. When the two girls escaped this small town called Mellard, they both eventually went on and had separate lives. Desiree went on as a black woman and Stella lived her life as a white woman and their stories kind of come together when their daughters meet and just the writing style is so beautiful and captivating it definitely took me a little bit to get into because right now i think i'm like 40 pages from the end yes i'm about to start reading part six i don't know if you can see which is called places and this is like an historical fiction adult novel i'm actually currently like buddy reading this with brit but we're not really sticking to a schedule at the moment and we were planning on like updating each other on like our thoughts and what we think of the book but i haven't updated her in a little while so i should but i do know that she is loving this book as well it's just truly like a heartbreaking story but it's definitely a very difficult but beautiful and painful story about race and feeling like you have to be a different person like you have to be white i will leave like the trigger warnings for this book in the description box down below because i'm sure that there are plenty there are very toxic relationships but definitely also like violence against black people from white people and i especially love the story or like the little bits with jude who is the daughter of desi ray and her partner which is reese i love jude and reese so much they are my favorite characters in this whole book. I actually read some on the train today because I came back from a friend of mine who I visited so I'm trying to find where I started off today so that I can count the exact amount of pages I've already read. Okay so I started on page 277 today and I'm currently on 303 so okay let me do the maths. <laughs> 
difficult. So I read like 26 pages until so far and I need to read 40 more and then I am done. If I finish this book, I've already read 66 pages and I know exactly which book I'll be reading next after this. So when I finish this, I will give you my final thoughts and rating and then I'll show you the book that I'm gonna read next. And also, on a little different note, I wanna give a shout out to Tain Eyewear. It sounds very Dutch. Tain is like, I, I would say a Dutch name, but it's not a Dutch company. But they make beautiful glasses and they send me two of their pairs and I wanna show them off to you guys. I will leave a link in the description box down below to Tain Eyewear and then you can like check out their website. Just a big thank you to them for gifting me these glasses. I'm not sponsored by them, but I'm very happy with what they sent me. So this is definitely my new favorite pair of glasses. It's like a mixture between silver and gold, which is perfect because if you want to like mix up your jewelry, I usually wear gold. But if I were to wear silver jewelry, then my glasses fit perfectly. So they look super nice. I'm very happy with them. They feel really sturdy. So again, dang, thank you so much for sending these glasses over to me. And right now I'm going to read my book and drink my coffee and just be a happy gal in general. <laughs> a few moments later. Oh, I just finished the book and I just I don't know how to feel like I like I feel like on the verge of crying real bad but like it was so beautiful it was really emotional I'm getting emotional right now <sighs> Wow, I was absolutely like not expecting to love this book as much as I did in the end, especially because the first, I would say like four chapters of this book, so that's like about a hundred pages, a third of the book basically, was a little like difficult to get into for me, like I had to get used to the writing style, but it was so beautiful yet heartbreaking to see the relationships of these two sisters, the racism and colorism that they dealt with and their daughters' stories. It's so beautiful and this one is absolutely going on to like my favorite shelf, which is right here if you've had this on your tbr you've been doubting to pick it up like do so i also loved the time period that it took place in i love reading stories that like take place from like the 1950s until like the 1980s five out of five stars definitely so okay i just need to take a moment and let all of this like sink in because it's been a long time since i've read such an amazing book Honestly, <laughs> but I will tell you what I'm planning on picking up next. Also some very exciting books, to be honest. <laughs> the book that I will be picking up next is Heartstopper Volume 3. I've actually already read this one, but I just want to like refresh my mind on what happened in the third book in this like graphic novel series because Volume 4 just came out. I got this for my birthday from two of my friends. So thank you so much again, Yvonne and Renata, for giving this book to me. I am really Really, really excited to pick this one up. Look at the super cute cover, especially the back. Like, I love it so much. So, if you haven't heard of the Heartstopper series yet, I feel like that's pretty much impossible. But it's about Charlie and Nick. Charlie is like openly gay and he has a big crush on Nick, but Charlie doesn't know if Nick is also interested in guys as well. And you basically like follow their like high school story while also their relationship, and it's very cute. It is also very hard hitting especially Charlie has some difficult things to deal with on his own it's also like talking about discovering your sexuality and kind of trying to find out who you are I remember really loving volume 3 I believe this one also touches upon eating disorders so definitely be warned for that I might be able to finish this today and then I can like start reading volume 4 tomorrow and I'm really excited about that <music> Transformation Tuesday. Hello, it's here. Hi guys. So I went to the hairdressers as you can see today I really really wanted a little bit of a change from what I had before it is a little shorter right now as you guys can see But most importantly, it's kind of back to my natural hair color Which I really enjoy because every single time like six weeks after I dye my hair You can see like the grow out and it just does not look that beautiful So this is my hair right now and I'm really loving it. It's very gray, but it 
it will turn a little bit more like warm brownish in like a couple of weeks when I wash my hair a bit more often but I thought I would give you guys a little update on how my reading has been going I hope the lighting is kind of okay like this I also went to Breda today which is one of my favorite cities to be in it's super close to my hometown and I went with my boyfriend we have a lovely afternoon so at the hairdressers I was able to finish my reread of Heartstopper volume 3 oh my gosh this is just such a joy to read like I said I think in this one we follow Nick and Charlie but they go on like this big trip with their school to Paris and it talks a lot about like them coming out to the people around them. By finishing this one, I believe I said yesterday it was like 300 and something pages. So the total number of pages is voila. I don't know what the exact total amount, but I will like calculate it a little bit after this reading vlog. But now I'm gonna start volume four and I have a really nice little snack of strawberries and raspberries. They taste so nice. So. I'm gonna have a lovely evening and enjoy volume four. I have no clue what to expect, honestly, with the story, but I feel like Nick and Charlie's relationship will become a little bit more serious and they might tell each other that they love each other, which is gonna, ah, it's gonna be so cute. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I also finished volume four of Heartstopper, which brings the total amount of pages read to this. <laughs> This was honestly the most difficult one to read because it focuses a lot on Charlie's eating disorder. So big trigger warnings for that, but also just how supportive Nick is. And it's just really heartwarming. The ending of this book, it has like little comics or just some fun little things which had me cracking up because it's like, it is Tao taking photos of him third wheeling while Nick and Charlie are kissing. <laughs> It's so funny. But I love volume four, so this was just as with volume three, a five out of five stars. So let me pick what I want to read next. I do have an idea. I have multiple ones. Okay, so I was thinking of picking up Felix Ever After by Case and Calendar. This is a book about a transgender boy um, finding out his like identity. It says here, Felix Love has never been in love. And yes, he's painfully aware <laughs> of the irony. He desperately wants to know what it's like and why it seems so easy for everyone but him to find someone. What's worse is that even though he is proud of his identity, Felix also secretly fears that he is one marginalization too many black, queer, and transgender to ever get his own happily ever after. When an anonymous student begins sending him transphobic messages after publicly posting Felix's dead name alongside images of him before he transitioned, Felix comes up with a plan for revenge. What he didn't count on, his catfish scenario landing him in a quasi love triangle. But as he navigates his complicated feelings, Felix begins a journey of questioning and self-discovery that helps redefine his most important relationship, how he feels about himself and especially my friend Olivia from Olivia's Catastrophe has been like raving about this one to me and I mean like the rest of the book community as well so I'm very excited to pick this one up. I feel like I'm gonna read this book. It's also like around 350 pages so if I'm still able to keep up with this challenge I should be able to finish it in two days but I'm just really excited. I have heard nothing but great things about it. Oh yeah. Hi guys, it is Thursday right now. I literally just wanted to film this clip because look at how good my hair still looks. At least it does from the front. I don't know. 
how it's looking from the side. It is five past 11 right now and I have to start work at 11.30 so I'm gonna have to ride my bike and then afterwards I will give you a little update on my reading and I'm just like really in a great reading mood at the moment and the weather is so nice so very happy, very content. <laughs> Six hours later. I'm vlogging right now and someone special is waiting for me. Hello, Lexi. Oh, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> and what are we gonna do, Lexi? We're gonna watch Howl's Moving Castle and we're also gonna mm. have an ice cream date. Because we both have ice cream. Yes. Mine is like ice cream soup at this point. <laughs> I'm sorry. You like it like that? Yeah, I do. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, we're gonna have a ton of fun. And what type of vlog are you actually filming? It's my six of crows one. Oh wait, wait, let's do the vlog inception. Oh yeah, okay, wait. Look at it's vlog inception. Ooh. Well wave goodbye to the vlog, Lexi. Goodbye. <laughs> Good afternoon everyone today this friday i still haven't washed my hair after i went to the hairdressers on tuesday which is like a miracle it still looks good that's just a happy fact that i wanted to share with you as you saw i had a facetiming session with lex yesterday and it was so much fun we were supposed to be eating ice cream and watching howl's moving castle because we want to watch the studio ghibli movies together but then we just talked for three or four hours straight <laughs> and i took the myers-briggs personality test because lexi wanted to know what i am and now i found out that i'm an e n f j t if i'm saying that correctly so let me know what your myers-briggs personality is like what came out of your test because apparently you have like certain personalities who really mix well with other personalities but i packed a ton of etsy orders today like look at all these orders just thank you so so much for buying my products it means a lot to me and i had a lovely morning doing that but of course i want to give you a little reading update so i've counted all the pages that i've read until so far during this whole week the end goal 150 times 7 is a total of 1050 pages and until so far i've read 940 wait no 934 pages and like on the one hand i feel bad for reading so many graphic novels but like it doesn't matter because reading graphic novels is still reading and i also read the blue road which is a graphic novel that focuses a lot on like immigration i believe and i had 100 pages left to read that one i haven't talked about that book yet so let me tell you what it is about wait i've even read more pages because i have read some of Felix Ever After, but The Blue Road, A Fable of Migration by Wade Compton, who made the text, and April de la Noche Milne, I think, for the illustrations. In this stunning graphic novel, La Cuna is a girl without a family, a past, or a proper home. She lives alone in a swamp made of ink, but with the help of Polaris, a will-o'-the-wisp, she embarks for the fabled northern kingdom where she might find people like her. The only way to get there, though, is to travel the strange and dangerous blue road that stretches to the horizon like a mark upon a page. Along the way, La Cuna must overcome trials such as the twisted briars of the thicket of tickets and the intractable guard at the rainbow border. At the end of her treacherous journey, she reaches a city where memory and vision can be turned against you in a world of dazzling beauty, divisive magic, and unlikely deliverance. Finally, Lacuna learns that leaving, arriving, returning, they're all just different words for the same thing, starting all over again. I really loved the art style, the coloring, so that was really, really great, but I did feel like the story was maybe a little bit all over the place. I don't know. I loved the main character Lacuna. She was super super smart but like the magic system or the world was super like unexplained. I felt like that was a little bit lacking but overall I liked the message that the book sent so I gave it three out of five stars and now let me give you an update on Felix Ever After by Case and Calendar. I have read until so far 58 pages so I actually need to add that to my total amount of pages and that makes it a total of 982. Until so far I really love that Felix is super creative and he is like going through this summer school art program with one of his friends and I love that creative aspect and I was not expecting it. What is super sad to see is that someone has like outed Felix that he is like transgender at this summer school. Old pictures of Felix were hung up and his dead name was made uh, how'd you call them, made public. I think 
think it's mostly just a book about self-discovery, finding your interests, seeing where you're good at, because Felix is trying to get into this very high prestige, pristine college. <laughs> Never know how to say that word. So let's read some more. I'm very excited to get further into it. I'm liking the writing style. So I'll be back when I've read more and then I'll tell you my opinion. Okay, it is Monday, the 24th, wait, let me check. Yes, 24th of May, meaning <laughs> that the reading 150 pages a day challenge is over. And yesterday I finished Felix Ever After by Case and Calendar, and I like this book, but I was expecting for this one to become a new favorite of mine, and it didn't, but it was really, really good. So let me tell you what I liked and what I didn't like. Let's start off on a positive note. I loved the queer representation in this book. Felix is questioning his identity and I loved all the talks about being transgender and trying to figure out your gender identity and yourself and your sexuality. So that aspect of the story and like those discussions, I would absolutely 100% give a five out of five stars. I also loved Felix as a character himself and I really liked seeing his artistic journey and trying to get into college and him following his passion so I really really loved seeing that as well. The side characters were maybe a little bit underdeveloped for me but the story really focuses on Felix which is fine by itself but I wish we would like get a little bit more depth in some of our side characters. But what really kind of like bothered me with this story was the plot because it focuses a lot on this love triangle and for me it was so apparent who Felix would or should, I don't know if you can say that, but like end up with. It was so obvious for me that when Felix was questioning it himself, I was just like, oh my God, let's get this over with. We all know how this story is gonna end and like who would be your perfect match. So that was kind of not really enjoyable in my opinion. So the plot just was not my favorite part because it focused so much on love triangles and I feel like love triangles are not really my thing anymore. So that was a bit of a shame. But besides that, I think it was a great book and I'd probably give it around a three and a half out of five stars. It's not a new favorite of mine and I wished that it was gonna be that. Oh yeah, the writing style was also nice. So I'm definitely looking forward to picking up another book by Case and Calendar. So yeah, that was a solid read. So in total, Wait, let me do the calculations for you and then I'll come back. <laughs> My total amount of pages read this week to 1,288. Um, dividing it by seven, which leads to 184 pages a day. Of course, I really have to like thank all of the graphic novels for the amount of pages that I read, but it's still a book. So I did really, really well this week. Overall, I read some pretty amazing books. I'm so happy with it. And now I can read some other amazing books. I'm so excited. I've read great, great novels in May. We love to see it. So <laughs> thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!